Hey, hey, what's going on, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington, this is Deer Meat for Dinner, and we are on the Georgia coast looking for big fish. I got a bunch of awesome guys here, Paul Thigpen, Captain Josh, we got Jason Wilson, and most importantly, I got my beautiful three-year-old daughter, Aria. She's just at that age now where she wants to go everywhere I go. And you know what? That is a blessing to me. She's actually back there sleeping on the on the rocket launcher right now. Got a little net. We're going to catch some pogies. They're going to be fishing all along this bank for redfish, trout, maybe even a tarpon. We got good friends, great time, and I, I am stoked you're here with us. It's super important when you're going to throw a net, make sure it doesn't have any, any, any tangles in the braille lines. Holy cow. It's li I'm only going to throw on the edge because I don't want to catch a million of them. Oh my goodness. like all the bait you want. These are little manhaden. They're referred to as pogies. Drop it out a little bit, come right in the bait well. There you go. All right. What's that, one and done. <laughs> That's what we're looking for right there. Beautiful bait. It's really high in oil, super high in protein. And when these fish are migrating down the coast, they just gorge on them. But this one, he goes back. What a blessed day. I love you guys. When you see bait that are in a really tight knot like that, just like inside there. Right, see right. when they're in a tight knot like that, typically you've got predators that are keeping them knotted up. Now, if you see the bait all so just spread out. So there's fish, you think there's all definitely, there's the definitely. See how there's one knot Literally. over there, one knot here. If there weren't predators, they would be spread right, out. Right. But when they get when they get into a tight ball like that, that means there's predators here and they knot up. That's what you call a bait ball, right? Bait ball. Take one of these pogies. Look them right there in the nostrils. Pitch him way out there. He's gonna is on a float, and uh, just a good way to catch a nice tarpon or. Big jack, or gator trout, redfish. We're here, man. Time to catch one. Then I'm gonna take this shrimp. What I do is I hook him up through the mouth, right out the top of the head, and he's gonna sit like that. This popping cork is gonna represent a fish eating. Sounds like a fish eating, and then when the, when the other fish come to inspect, they're gonna find a live shrimp right under it. And then we catch them. Jig it, Arya. Good job. Okay, hold on, stop, and go pop it like that. Good girl. Okay, let it sit there. Real, 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 real. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You had one. Hold on. Watch your bobber out there. Watch your bobber. Okay, real some. Reel it, reel it real fast. Reel, reel, reel. Now pop it. Good, stop it, let it sit right there. I got the best. Whenever you're fishing with a kid like this, I mean, Aria is only three years old. It's very important for her just to figure out the muscle memory so that she can reel. Good girl. Watch your, watch your bobber. Watch your bobber out there. Do you like fishing with daddy? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Can I have a kiss? I can't do it all by myself. I'm you, not. you could do it all by yourself? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm still standing here why with you. Why or why a stand? Here comes Gabe. I know, kid. I mean, where was this in? I go left. All right, you guys. Uncle Gabe's here. It's getting kind of hot. And the last thing I want to do is overfish Aria. Here. Oh, goodness. I am always trying new little things. I'm using a circle hook instead of a kale hook. And I'm using no lead. Just trying to get a nice big quality bite. Here's 
And just like that, he walked out of my life forever. There he is, right here. Dad, burn it! Y'all, I'm batting like 0% right now. No, 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 no. I'm, we, you're gonna see me bow up on a 38 inch deck. I'm trial here in a second. You're gonna wonder how I did it. I just reached in that bait bucket and grabbed the shrimp and he basically swam up to the top of the water, raised his hand and said, pick me. I don't know what he meant by that, but I, I went with it. How many of you guys watched my Instagram last week and saw how burned I was? I had the worst sunburn in the history of sunburns. I can feel the sun burning me through my regular shirt right now. It's like nuts. I have like SPF 290 on right now and I still feel like I'm sunburned. There he is, got him reeling it in. He just came up and annihilated it. Look at this, y'all. Look at this, hold on, I got him. Look at this, y'all. This is like family fun. There he is, there he is. What you got there, Jason? I think this is the brother to the last four, pretty. These trout and whiting seem like they're just right in where it starts to get deep. Always check your drag, using super light leader, so. You don't want to overdo it. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on, mister, mister. I got gotcha. you. That's what I'm talking about. Looks like I got a ladyfish, ladies and gentlemen. Now, if you're tarpon fishing, I'm about to tell you, that is what you want to use for bait. Come here. Redfish, love them chunked up. Just a great fish, great bait. Josh is wearing them out. Boy, we got fish coming everywhere. Oh, Whitey. Beautiful fish. It's real slimy. It's more slimy than most of the fish I've really? touched. Really? feel how greasy he is. I mean, it's Now, is, it, is his meat real slimy like that? No, no. It's actually clean, real white, white uh, meat. Is that uh, how they came up with the name I Whitey? I didn't, I didn't invent a wheel. All I'll do is eat the fish. <laughs> He ate it while it's reeling it in right here. Are you kidding me? Come here, buddy. Come here. Oh, I'm pretty sure that one will be long enough to keep. Ooh, another whiting. Ooh, that's a big one, boys. They're known to have the big tooth right up front because when they come in and grab those pogies and grab the bait fish, shrimp, whatnot. They grab them and hang on. Oh yeah, he's plenty big. Good deal. Cover him in ice. Go. You wanna keep your fish ice cold. That's gonna make the meat so much better when it's time to cook them. Oh, I'm a whiting man. man. <laughs> Whiting for supper, boys. I mean, um, I don't know what I've got. Big whiting. So, the key to what we're doing right now, we're staying at Paul's house. Paul has a beautiful home over on the beach. The girl's been playing, Aria's been like boogie boarding, and I wanted, like we could have came out here and chased big redfish, but we can't keep them. I wanted to come out here and catch fish like that so that we could go back and have a, a cookout. And to me, man, having the opportunity to run through the estuaries, run through the bayous, see all these beautiful beaches, and just learn a new place to fish, 
That's what it's all about, man. We got a bunch of them, but that's really what we came to catch. Whiting and trout. You can always tell a lot about a fish, by the way. You see how he's got a big fleshy nose and the mouth on the bottom? He'll actually get down and root around in the sand and eat shrimp and clams and little shellfish. A trout has a much bigger mouth that opens up He's got big teeth, so he's gonna ambush and catch fish. Now he'll also eat shrimp and everything else, but you can tell a lot about a fish just by the way their mouth is. All right, guys, let's take a look at what these jokers look like. Look how nice that meat is. Now, mm, their skin gets a little slimy on you. That's that way. Now you can also come in here just like that, make your cut there, and just cut it all at once. But then you're gonna have your rib bones with your rib bones, come in here and skin your fish. Cut that off. Then you're gonna cut your rib bones out just like that. As you can see, look at that. You can see right through the fish, transparent, white, delicate, and delicious. Good friends with good people. This is Captain Josh right here. Captain Josh started out fishing on the beach, on the pier, yep. anywhere he could and met his boss. And how long did it take him to turn you into a full-time guide? It took about two and a half years of going every day, just rigorous training. So like if somebody just comes here to like St. Simon's Island or if they're a tourist in the area, can they just call y'all and book a trip? Absolutely. All right, and what are your favorite things to fish for? My favorite things is uh, the big bull reds in the fall and the spring, anywhere from 30 to 50 pounds. Ooh. I mean, just big monster red fish on pretty light spinning tackle. Uh, love catching those, and then of course tarpon in the summer, all time favorite. You know, they put on a great show, especially in some of the shallower water. They'll they'll make huge jumps and just That's put on awesome. a show for them. That's awesome. And then this place, this is called Hickory Bluff Club and Marina. Check these guys out. There will be links to their website in the description below. But uh, we will see you in the kitchen. Whiting is just beautiful, beautiful fish. And I'm gonna do something fun. We're gonna make fish omelets. I've never done that. I was thinking about it last night, and now we're gonna do it. Tony Satri's Creole seasoning. Pop a big thumbs up if you've ever used this. Other than Everglades, this is the most mentioned spice on my channel. Paul just did a, a poll on his Instagram. What do you like more, coffee or bacon? Y'all know I hate coffee, so I definitely voted for bacon. I'm coffee. But if you had to, if you had to vote, what would you drink or eat? Would you have coffee or would you have bacon? You know where I stand. You want it to get a little bit of that, that caramelization on the outside. Make it a little crispy, and what that does is that causes it to sweeten up. Take our eggs, dump them in there. A little Texas Pete hot sauce. We're just gonna... So good. Oh yeah, man. On one side, take some of that fish, just like that. You just wanna make a little, little layer and put it in there just like that. And let that start falling in love. Those two just became best friends. We literally sat out till one o'clock last night talking about social media. Paul owns an automotive group. He also owns a lot of real estate, like this house on the ocean in St. Simons Island. But he loves social media, he loves Instagram. He wants to build an Instagram. So. I told him, start a story, show people what you do, show them your life, 
and that's how people so if you guys have any ideas or what you would like to see on his Instagram leave it in the comments below or just go over to Paul Thigpen on Instagram and tell him look this is what we want to see because the way I've grown deer meat for dinner is by listening to you you say oh we want to see this right and as long as it fits into my life that I'm gonna do it and so I have some videos coming up in the next couple weeks that I know for a fact y'all been mentioning over the last couple years and so now it's like the time to do those videos you're about to be on YouTube let's not be a pain in the neck oh perfection I think we're done look at that Taste test is all you, my friend. Uh, let's go. It's gonna be super hot. It... No, go back. No? That's delicious. Yeah, that's good. Look who just, look who just came to see daddy. This is my Emma. Hi, sweet pea. Emma, say hi to everybody. Hey. That's your baby. Yeah, that's good. That's good, Rob. Yeah? Yeah, I like it a lot. Well, I like you a lot. I appreciate you having us come here. Everybody, I hope y'all have enjoyed, I hope you've enjoyed St. Simon's Island. And, love your uh, family, love the kids. Sarah's incredible, great man, you've done really well. You gotta yeah, yeah. Come here, Jake. This is my brother's son, this is Jake, this is Blue Gabe. Go tell him we gone. <laughs>